Evening, guys. Welcome to Franklin County Forge. I know it's been a little bit. I know I've been slacking. Uh, the last video, my audio quality was... I know. Uh, I got this right here. Hopefully that helps. Uh, so, little update. We got the squeeze. And we've got the baler applicator complete. Almost. It's pretty well complete. I haven't tested it. I've tested it with water. But I'm going to have to calibrate it once I get some decent days where I can get it out of the building. And in the daytime, I'll go over this unit with you. Go over what I did. How I did it. Why I did it. All that good stuff. I'm going to calibrate it. Uh, to get to the flow rates I want based off whatever pressures. That way I'll, you know, I can adjust to whatever pressure I want for the flow rate. So right now though, it's like almost midnight. Uh, kids and everybody's asleep. So this is when I get to actually come out and get some work done. I don't have a lot to do on the baler simply because I did most of the things at the end of last season. I fully greased it. I cleaned it up really good. Uh, there is one grease zerk on the knotters that it hasn't taken since I got it, so I'm going to clear that up. Let's get started, guys. Into this screwdriver, there's a zerk that greases the bill hook, the, the shaft, I guess, technically, that drives the bill hook, which is actually part of the bill hook, nonetheless. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this knotter up, this knotter frame up. We're going to remove this pin here, and then we'll flip this up and we'll Take that grease zerk out, and we'll see if we get lucky. We may be able to just free it up without actually taking the grease zerk out. Uh, I'm not holding my breath though. So if you're doing this job, uh, don't hold your breath either. Now we're talking. Okay, so that pin out this one does not have a spring so we're good there flip this up and what we're gonna do we're gonna let it sit there I want to wipe some of this excess grease off right here grease off of here excess grease is I'm not gonna say it's your worst enemy but it's definitely not something you want on your knotted frames this grease zerk is a 3 8 Hopefully my hand's not in your way to be able to see. She's plugged, plugged, plugged. So I'm going to dig this out. And I'm going to dig the hole here out. And we're going to see if that'll do it. If not, I'll have to take the whole bill hook and everything off. And so what I like to do is I'll go ahead and put it on the grease zerk. On the grease gun, I should say. And hold on. Two hands here. Give it a little pump, you see it coming out of there, so I know it's cleared up. So now we're gonna check in here, see what I can feel. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's put a grease gun on that and see if it'll take. And whenever you're letting this down, always keep your fingers clear of this piece right here because it'll get to a point and it'll just drop. And if you're not ready for it, You'll, you'll cut your fingers right in between. Oh yeah, she ain't going, guys. I think this is basically what I did in my other video, only uh, I'm actually just taking the bill hook out to free up and be able to grease this grease zerk right here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the pin like I did previously, pull the knotter up, then we're gonna take our, I don't know what you call this, I call it bill hook tensioning arm, but I'm sure there's a word for it, but we'll take this nut washer spring arm off there are way too many small areas on this baler to find a really good spot to put you guys so at the end of this punch right here is where this pin should be coming out to find the pin the pin that holds the this pinion right here for the bill hook is always perpendicular to the face of the of the cam gear the large cam gear uh, this flat spot on the bill hook pinion, it's going to be, the hole is going to always be perpendicular to that. So what you want to do, you flip your knotter frame up, and if you go to where the bill hook actually starts turning, you've gone too far, because then you can't get to it here, 
Uh, you could go further and it'll actually be facing the rear of the baler, but then you have nothing to hit against. Your, your, your knotted frame is going to be going back and forth like this. So I always go sideways. So right about in there is where you want it. So it clears everything. And uh, I got this board in here because when I start whacking on it, this knotted frame is liable to fall down. This will keep it from just beating and banging on everything. Oh, look at that. It's almost like she fell like I thought she would. Okay. She's probably about out. Yep. And there it is. Okay. Now, if you recall on my, my video last year doing this other bill hook, um, it's to be expected. And I can already tell by pulling on it just a little bit here that I'm not wrong. But it's to be expected whenever you have grease packed in there like you do like I do we're gonna have some issues getting this bill hook out now since this is a heavy duty knotter frame I like the heavy duty knotter frame this job right here is much more difficult with a heavy duty knotter frame because the end of the bill hook shaft is going into a blind hole so there is no way to put a punch and a hammer and drive this bill hook out. You just have to work it out by hand, get in there and with some pry bars, potentially somewhere. Uh, and I'm actually doing this with the knife arm still on here. However, if it gives me a whole lot of grief, then I will have to uh, take the knife arm off just to get, get in here to be able to work. So. Typically, you know, if it's loosened up good, you could just grab this bill hook and pull it. Uh, obviously, you can see that we can't do that, or I can't do that, because, again, maintenance is a really big deal on these things. Well, on any, any piece of equipment, honestly, um, but especially a square baler. Let's put some Duke on here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to actually put a put this chisel. And I'm going to drive it between this end of the frame and the bill hook pinion. And what that's going to do is that's going to push that bill hook pinion down, which is the direction we need it to go because we're going to pull the bill hook out, and this pinion is going to fall right out of there. So I did move it. I moved it a, a, a long ways actually. So that's good. So now I'm, I'm going to have to watch it because as you move that bill hook, it's going to change the way your knife arm slides on it. So what I mean by that is you don't want to be in a spot where you can't get back. You don't want to get a place where you can't get back home. Okay, let's see if I can catch that. Close out. So race into that zerk. There it went, just felt it, and I saw it. Then that will now take grease. And whenever I go back together with this, I like to soak it with WD or PB or whatever you got, uh, just to make sure it goes together very smoothly. So there's the bill hook, and so um, I do see a little bit of wear here. Really nothing that concerns me. Mostly wear from where it hasn't been greased for in forever. But the roller here is in really good shape. There's not a lot of grooves, or really any grooves on here, no rough spots. So the bill looks in pretty decent shape. I think it's got several thousand more barrels to go. The pinion is also in pretty good shape. If you look at this bill hook, okay, that's your flat face here. And you've got this flat piece here, and that's what rub runs on that big flat area on the cam, on the knotter cam. And you'll see, if you look here, one side is much shinier than the other. This is the side that typically wears, okay? So as this wears, this side here stays good, and this side here is going to wear down and down and down, and pretty soon it's going to be shaped like a be flat here, and it'll be tapered big time over here. 
Well, what that does is in the home position, this flat spot keeps this bill hook from turning, okay? So the more this wears, the more it allows that bill hook to turn. And our 276, this was worn bad enough that it was allowing the bill hook to turn. Sometimes it'd be perfect and it'd tie really good. Other times it would turn and that would throw off the knife arm clearance there. It would throw off everything, really. The, how the, the twine lays into the bill hook, the timing of the bill hook, it, it would throw everything off. It's really easy check if you take the nose of the bill hook. By the nose, I'm talking about this 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 right here. I don't know if that's a proper term for it, but if this has, it's gonna have a little bit of, of play, so it's not you know bound up. But if this has excessive play this way, you're gonna have issues, and that excessive play comes from either, well, I guess you could have a broken pin here, or it's worn right here. What I was just talking about. All right back together with it. You see this flat piece here has to go along this point right here. I'm going to slide that up in there. I've actually got it probably a little bit too far that way. So I'm going to pull the knotter down, get the knife arm out of the way, slip the bill hook in. The bill hook will need to go this way. So I'm going to say the toe of the bill hook is going to be opposite the flat on the gear. Just for your information. <laughs> and we'll get that started. We'll come on down. Get that in there. And she's in. I say she's in. We gotta get the pin in, of course. Alright, pin is started. Some little love taps. Looking pretty good. Yep, that's perfect. All right, and that is removing and reinstalling the bill hook on a 326. Oh, what I forgot. All right, I gotta finish the job. The job's not done till the job's done. The job's not done till the job's done, is it? Put that there, and then. Oh, I might have to adjust this, but I, how I adjust my tension on the bill hook is I get to where I can still move the tongue of the bill hook, but it's fairly difficult. I still need, if you can't move the tongue with the with your finger, it's too tight. I can tell you that right now. Uh, okay, let's see if this thing take grease. And on. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Perfect. Bend this down. This should have been one. We'll try that for a bit. And she's all set. That is removing cleaning out the grease zerk and reinstalling of the bill hook and we are complete that took us probably 30 minutes um, removal of the bill hook is very simple if you know just a few things the correct place to park it if you will to be able to drive that pin out where the pin is and uh, honestly Removing and reinstalling the bill hook is a five to minute to ten minute job if it's been properly maintained. What I mean by that is if you don't have a stuck bill hook where you have to beat on it with a hammer to get it out. If it's been properly maintained, you should be able to grab that bill hook with your hand and you might I mean you're gonna have some resistance on it, but you know, you might work it back and forth, but you should be able to pull it out by hand without the use of a hammer or a punch or a chisel or whatever. Right now we are Good to go on our knotters. I, I don't foresee any issues. Pfft, knock on wood. I don't have any wood. Oh yeah, I do. Two by four. Okay, so knock on wood. Shouldn't have any issues. That don't mean we won't. Things can always break. Uh, there's always wear that you can't necessarily see. Uh, I'm no expert. Um, I'm pretty well versed in these New Holland balers. So uh, my comfort level is up there pretty good considering I went through this thing last year. I did some work on the knotters and 
they did really really well the only thing I have a slight concern about is with the needles they are getting a, some wear on the hole um, I'd like to braise them up hopefully this was useful to you um, again it's a very simple job don't be uh, intimidated by these things knotters are not super complicated uh, you know they are finicky at times they do have to be set correctly it helps if you know a few things about them but honestly if you're just, if you're a go-getter and you're the least bit mechanically inclined you can figure it out it's quite simple uh, if you do have any questions comment down below I'm more than happy to help you um, and if it's a more in-depth thing you can message me on Facebook uh, we can chat back and forth we can talk on the phone whatever I don't mind helping you guys um, that's why I'm here I'm here to try to provide a little bit of information and make life easier for you guys and uh, so anyways without further ado this is the end of the video guys one note if you guys remember I took you on a a checkup on one of dad's fields we are actually going to start bailing at my dad's. We're bailing more square bales there than we have really probably ever. Uh, I'm probably going to be bailing fewer square bales here at my place probably than ever. Uh, my new planting of orchard grass uh, does not look very good. I do have a lot of grass out there. I think maybe the late cold snap kind of stunted it or something. It's kind of looking a little bit yellow. I did spray for some weeds. That probably didn't help with the stunting of the orchard grass. Uh, so what was established is looking really, really well. My alfalfa field looking decent. It's got some weeds in it. It's first cutting. What do you expect? I didn't spray it or anything like that. So long story short, I'm actually going to be doing some round bailing at my house on first cutting. Uh, it's gonna be cow hay anyways. We're just gonna feed it to the cows. I'm not worried. I'm not gonna mess with trying to sell to my customers. I want to keep them happy. I'm gonna be honest. You know, I'm not gonna try to sell them something that they're not gonna be happy with. So, so I'm taking my square baler over to Dad's. I'm gonna bring this round baler back to my place. Anyways, sorry for rambling here at the end. I know I'm rambling. Just want to give you guys an update. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got something out of it. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, stay tuned because uh, a couple more videos, we're going to have some good content coming out. So, God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.